Hi, my name is Alex McKenzie, and I'm the founder of Microdot, a public benefit corporation serving disadvantaged communities with digital currency. Our mission is to lift people out of poverty, use poverty apples, and all takes one strategy for a person, a family, an entire community to grow and improve. And it's hard to recover from that no matter where you are. Let's start with your home, my home, and Puerto Rico. Hurricane Maria was the most powerful storm to hit Puerto Rico in a century. It made landfall on September 20th, 2017, killed 3,000 people, caused $90 billion of damage, left 3.4 million without electricity and 1.5 million without running water. I mean, this happened in 2017. My cousin stopped drinking out of water bottles like six months ago, a year and a half after Maria. The government's response was sluggish, ineffective, and insulting. This isn't about the president burning paper towels or hurting victims. This is about survival. And while we don't provide paper towels, we do provide a solution. This is the mayor of San Juan, Carmen Cruz. You may have heard about her criticism of the president. Well, I happen to know Carmen, my right? you know my aunt. And she and I have one big thing in common. We want our island to survive. We reach out to her team to test our product, improve the concept in Puerto Rico. So, what is a microdot? It's not a cryptocurrency, it's not blockchain, it's not Bitcoin. What it is is a way for communities to leverage their existing resources to help people make their ends meet. It's a website, a mobile app, and a debit card. You can spend microdots anywhere. The idea is that the currency decreases in value when less spent, and real-world examples have shown that there's a decrease of 1% a month and increase the rate of exchange 12 times that of regular currencies. That's a 1,200% increase in GDP. What we've done is deliberately made the currency worse at holding value in order to make the currency better at exchanging value. We think that's worth pursuing. Now, while U.S. dollars are backed with nothing but the full faith and credit of the U.S. government, microdots are backed with physical assets, goods, and services. <coughs> and we create this inventory from resources that already exist within these communities, which means that we generate our own fund. For example, we'll take coupons for labor, like Susie's cleaning service, and pawnable physical items like firearms, jewelry, and furniture, and issue microdots in exchange. And then, when the microdots of circulation decrease in value, that frees up a corresponding amount of the inventory for us to resell for profit. And that's our primary revenue stream. If there's anything about that which is at all unclear, please ask me about it in the Q&A session afterwards. We do have a number of secondary revenue streams as well, and I'm willing to go into detail on those. So, we're wedged into a weird space. Who's our competition? Banks, primarily, as well as peer-to-peer -peer lenders and pawn shops. And banks are predatory. They prey on the very people we're trying to help. They want you to carry debt and pay interest forever. Microdot is fundamentally different. With loans, there's no guarantee that you will ever find the work necessary to repay that loan amount. With Microdot, your labor is actually built into the system, like with those coupons or Susie's cleaning service. And because we're dealing with a digital currency, you can actually purchase your goods at a much more favorable rate than your local market. <coughs> you want to go out to Puerto Rico, make a difference, and change lives. And that's essentially our market entry strategy. We partner with the town, enlist some businesses, roll out the product, and prove the concept. The biggest hurdle for this is securing the endorsement of the mayor. Well, like I said, I know Carmen. And if it sounds like we're putting all our eggs in one big Puerto Rican basket, rest assured. We've already partnered with the mayor of Glenville, West Virginia, who was so impressed by our concept that in the middle of our meeting, he stopped me, called the president of the Economic Development Association, and had him come down to hear what I had to say. Puerto Rico, West Virginia, we can roll this out anywhere. And that's because Microdots makes it better than the competition, but our team is what makes us special. Our team is comprised of my baby brother, Andrew, these two brilliant software engineers, my alma mater, Cornell University, while I myself am currently a JD candidate at George Washington University Law School. And we're blessed by our advisory board. My childhood friend, John Luca, is lending his technical expertise to point us in the right direction. Mitio Carlos is an experienced VC in the healthcare and ed tech industries. It has been so helpful to lean on him and navigate these entrepreneurial waters. But it's my grandfather, Arsenio Rodriguez, who's the coolest one on the list. For 30 years, he worked with the World Bank and the UN on the economic development of Latin America. So he has all the connections to make our vision a reality. Our ask for you today is this. If you'd like to know more, please reach out. I'll sit down with you for an hour and go over all the nitty gritty details. I mean, I took a year off from law school to launch my career. This is something I'm deeply passionate about. It's a complicated problem with a simple solution where we can connect the dots. Thank you.